content on an affiliate website revolves around using our What You See, What You Get editor. A What You See, What You Get editor is essentially us using drag and drop tools to change aspects or the design of the site uh, in real time by simply, again, dragging and dropping what we want to display exactly the way we want it to be displayed. Um, back in the day, before we had really powerful what you see, get, what you get editors, we would have to use custom CSS, HTML, among other custom coding uh, languages to make the website look really beautiful. By using a what you see, what you get editor, we essentially are able to, again, exactly make something look like we want it to be and we know it's going to come out perfect. When you use custom code, there's always the risk of, is it going to display exactly like we want, or are we going to have to go through 10 different versions of saving before we got it um, how it needs to be displayed. The what you see, what you get editor within the software revolves around using widgets. Now when it comes to widgets, the first thing you must understand are what columns and rows are. So the columns and rows are really how we control how the content is going to be displayed, whether it's on a desktop or mobile device. So it's always a good idea to kind of bring in a row or a column and then decide how many rows essentially you want in the column. Now that the amount of rows will dictate how the content is displayed. So if right now we're one column all the way across or we let's make it three and you'll see that we then have three different columns or um, within this row that we can then edit. This row, or essentially one column, is a one column row. So let's say within these three columns, let's come back to widgets, and we have all of our different widget content that we can add, whether it's text, images, uh, product listings, everything you can imagine. So let's first come to, let's add an image in the middle. And then we can search the web or we can upload our own. So let's just use essentially this photo, add it. And once you've added content, you're gonna have different settings for that content. You're gonna have a content or properties panel where you can change different aspects about this. So we could add a, a link for the image. We can choose the size and so forth. Or if we go into the actual design settings, we can really start playing around with how this is displayed uh, using image effects, hover effects, um, and so forth. Now the design aspect for widget to widget drastically changes. This is kind of a lighter widget as far as the amount of effects and so forth we can implement versus some widgets you know, can have dozens of different settings within the design uh, section. The background properties is uh, very important to kind of understand how it works. So this is an image widget, but technically we could have a background for the image itself. If it, it, it's kind of crazy to think about it, but um, let's come essentially over to this row and, and we can do exactly the same thing here, but instead of having this image widget, we could come to row and then background, not instead of color, that's the color, we'll come to background image and we can add load, up, upload the exact same image. But now we can only have kind of like one widget over another if that makes sense. So right now we have this image widget and we can't put text over this image. But if we come back to widgets and I go up to the top and I choose this text, I can bring it over here because we haven't added a widget to this column. What I did was I changed the background image of the row, but you know now if I want this to display um, text and then also have you know more settings for it, come in here, come to layout, and make it centered background. Now in order for this text to show up, if it's black, you know I could give it a white background, and now it's all of a sudden displaying, and then we have you know several different other effects that we can implement here within the background. Every different widget though will also have layout properties. And the layout, like I just did, I lined it center. I could choose the height, the width, uh, the margin itself. So margin and padding are important to understand the difference. So the margin is the amount of space above 
uh, essentially outside of this blue. So if I want to have more space outside of the widget, I would choose to affect the margin. Um, good way to display or demonstrate this is let's clone this uh, widget. Let's drag it to the top here and see how we have them uh, essentially butting up to one another. And if I come back to the text settings, I'll come to layout. And let's say we want the the margin to be uh, essentially larger. We want there to be a bigger space between these two widgets where we can come to the bottom margin and make it larger and now all of a sudden it says, okay, we want extra large space between this and the next widget. There's also though padding. Now padding is changing uh, the amount of space within the widget itself for essentially the outside layer, which is the blue. So the padding can be controlled by either a percentage or a pixel. So if we make the percentage, let's say we want to again, make this a uh, higher amount of space around the text. So we'll, we'll add, let's add 10 pixels to the top and 10 to the bottom. And you can see how it added space within the widget and not around it like the margin does. Uh, lastly, we can also even add some entrance animation. We can choose if we want it to fade in, slide in, and so forth. Most of the widgets, you're gonna again, you're gonna want to look at the layout properties and choose how exactly you want it to display. When it comes to um, the widgets themselves, remember that we can also bring widgets within our, our columns and within columns and widgets within columns. So, right now we have a three column. Let's say this left uh, column though, we want it to actually be spaced into a couple. So we can come to widgets, come to two columns, bring it in here, and now we have two columns. And I can also come here, let's drag this. Let's say we want that image to be there, and we'll come back to widgets. We want text to display above it. And let's name this sample text, we'll center it. Now let's say we make a few different configurations, like I centered that text and I want it to be um, a certain size and I have certain aspects of this image that I want. Let's say I wanted to give it a, uh, let's go to background, this image, let's give it a border for instance, make it three, make it black and we'll give it a five radius, which will round the, the edges. Now, if I want to like copy these settings, I the best way to do it is to actually clone it. Now I can clone these two rows. So if I come here, I can clone it, but I really want this same layout right here. So cloning that doesn't really make sense, but the point is I can clone a column or a row. So a trick is actually to come back into widgets, bring in a column within this two column, drag the text within the column, and then the image. And again, make sure you're all in the same column. And now I have one column here that I can come clone, and I can drag it over to here. Instead of this sample text, um, it's easier again to now just change this text based on you already have the same font and the size and you are already centered. It's just a lot easier to work with clones and have remain the same consistency and just change the variables uh, that are within it. So we'll just come here, change the image, and you're gonna see, you know, everything is the same layout. We still have the same border and so forth. Another trick, let's say we want similar content to go from one page to the next. We can come here, we can clone it, and a trick is actually to drag um, items into the footer of the site. If you think about it, the footer is the same on every page, so if we drag something into the footer, we then click save, we then can come to another page, so we'll come to our about page, and if we wanted this same type of layout, instead of creating it from complete scratch, we can come here and then find it in the footer and drag it in there. Hopefully you find this what you see what you get editor video helpful and thank you for watching.